Okay, you have the Foxbox Estimator Pro 3 loaded up on your computer. I want to show you how to run this thing. It's really not difficult. You don't need much for instruction. You should be able to bounce around and figure it out quite easy. But I'll show you what I do. You go up in the top here. The date should be today's date. If you need a previous date, you can just change it. I always put in the project name. You know, we'll just say this is Bob's job. And I always put in the client's name. In this case, I'll just say it's Bob. And the reason I do that is that way it carries through all the pages on this document. And um, I'll be able to refer back to it later. I'll be able to easily find it. I won't lose it. And in the worksheet, it's called Worksheet 1. I want to rename that. And it depends on the job I'm doing. Uh, it, this might be a foundation or a main floor or a, a complex. I'll just say that this is main floor. So I'll type in main floor here. And um, I, then I want to add a worksheet. Let's just say I'm going to do a second floor as well. So let's do second floor. So now you'll see if in my drop down I have main floor, second floor. Now this is unlimited. I can do as many floors as I want. There's no restriction on it. Um, I can delete a sheet at any time and I can add another sheet at any time. So let's go back to main floor. We'll work on main floor for this one. I am on the wall data page. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is establish the wall height. Let's say I have a 10 foot wall I have to do. I'm going to choose 9 foot 4 because our block doesn't add up to 10 foot high. And right here you'll see height of wall used in estimate. It's going to be 9 foot 4. If I click on add a molded half block, now I have a 10 foot wall. Now a molded half block has our teeth on both sides. It can be used reversibly and it also is good if I'm going multiple stories like I am on this estimate. If I'm not going multiple stories, if I just have one level, I would choose add a row of cut half block because in that case, I take a straight block, which is lower in cost in total. I rip it on a table saw and I get eight lineal feet for every straight block. Now there's extra labor involved to do that, obviously, but um, if you want to save a little bit on the block cost, that's the way to do it. So you have those two options and this still gives me 10 foot. So I'll go back to molded half block. I could do both if I wanted, but I'll go back to that. Now I go to block information. You got to calculate on your blueprint what the lineal footage of wall is. On this case, I'm just going to go 234, 234 lineal feet. My concrete thickness, which is our block size, I'm going to go 6 inch. You have your choice there of 4, 6, 8, 10, or 12. I'm going 6 inch. Now, number of inside angles, I'm going to say I have 1 and I have 5 outside corners. Now, you need to separate those because if you don't, you're going to be short straight block on your job site and we don't want to see you being short of straight block. So you need to be more accurate with that. Now you can put in 45s and T blocks and corbel blocks. If you see a grayed out cell like right here, that means we don't make that block for that size. So this is curb block. I can change this to 8 inch and you'll see that now I have curb block available because we do make it an 8 inch. But this is a 6 inch wall so I can't use that won't need it on this job anyways okay now if I go down here I can put in square footage of openings let's just say I have uh, I think I've got 40 square feet of openings there's another way to do that though I want to show you up on the top here there's a tab called openings this is new for this version um, let's just say I have some openings I already know the size of there's only one line here to fill out I put in that I have let's say I have four windows on this job and those four windows are 48 inch by 24 inch very simple windows and uh, it fills out the rest then and it gives me another line so now let's say I have another two windows and these are 36 by 36 and then it will fill out the rest of that and this gives me the total square footage the total lineal footage or I mean the total the net lineal footage and the total lineal footage now total lineal footage adds up for the four times this but it also adds on overlap so if I'm using lumber it gives me enough for an overlap as well so that's already built in and uh, I can use that number total lineal footage now for ordering lumber or whatever material I'm using to build the openings you can put as many openings as you want in here and doorways whatever you need to do and then you click this button here called send openings data to wall so I click that and it says here the opening data has been sent to the wall data page. So now I go back to the wall data page and you'll see that it, uh, in fact it has been filled in. And that now I can change that if I want to alter it a bit. I can just manually put a number in here still. Uh, I can also add some straight blocks and add some 90s if I want to make sure that I got enough for the job. Let's say you have a real 
oddball job that's going to be rip cut and um, maybe it's got steps and things and you, you're not quite sure if you're going to make a mess of things you can always add a few block and that way you know you're not going to run out when you're on site you can also add a layer of two inch energy sticks so here you can actually add one two or three layers and if I added a layer of energy sticks you know and you want six inch concrete really now you have to go to an eight inch block and that'll give you six inch concrete because you're using up two inches with this energy stick in this case I'm gonna to go to a simple job and not use energy stick so it's just a six inch wall I then want to go to the optional data and fill out my man hour rate and let's just say your crew is not that experienced I'm gonna go 0 0.07 man hours per square foot and you got five men on your crew and here you can go anywhere from three men up to twelve men so you can find your job and you find the information for this in the resource center on our website on the Foxbox website and look for technical docs and look for man hour rates there's a PDF there that you can read out or you can print out and it will give you all the information on how to fill this in so now this page is done so that means the main floor information that's all you need for that if I go to the Fox parts parts tab on the top that will give you all the parts you need plus blocks per bundle and then round it up to a full bundle so it goes to the next full bundle so that way for sure you're gonna have enough and it's gonna load on the truck properly and the total bundles you need how much it weighs and the total number of trucks required here it's just under a full truck if I go to worksheet data I like this page this is only on the main floor but all the information I just typed in plus the parts that I need plus other notes like the trucks needed the concrete needed the bracing needed rebar if it's a 16 by 16 grid man hours to build it days to complete that's all in here and I can print this off so that's kinda handy um, then project summary if I go to project summary this adds up all the pages you have you can have 10 pages here and it would add all 10 pages into this one sheet and this is our pricing so here's the quantity you need and then pricing it's got a zero in it so if I go to edit and edit pricing I get a dialog box where I can actually edit this pricing another way to do it is to just go on the side here and double click the zero so I double click and I get that same pricing um, folder and now I can click on this and I can put a number in and for this I don't know what the number is in your area so I'll just use twenty twenty dollars for a block it's gonna be less than that I hope or more than that depending on where you live depending on the shipping and things like that I'm just using a simple number the next thing you do once you have all your numbers put in there you go file and save and it'll ask you where you want to save it and you just pick a number in here I'm just gonna call it two three four and go save and it saves it and now I can always recall that so I can make multiple pricing sheets and save them and then call them back up depending on which sheet you want to use for this job now I can get out of here and the 20 stays into the unit price um, column and it will also show now um, the total price and the square foot per or the price per square foot and that all reverts down to the bottom all your numbers will show up so that is it now if you want to get a little bit more complex you can go to the rebar calculator and this allows you to go metric or imperial with your rebar and the first thing you do is you put your wall length in that was 234 lineal feet I'm gonna go imperial you might be metric but imperial would be a number four bar metric would be a 10 M bar um, you also have a choice there four five six seven eight bar or if I go metric you have 10 15 20 25 M bar okay now 234 lineal feet I have seven rows plus a half block so let's say eight rows a block and my lap splice I'm gonna say is 20 inch and let's just say the engineer called for one extra row of five number five bar on this job just because he's an engineer they have the right to do that I don't know if you'd need that on that job probably not but you never know what an engineer will call for and for the overlap there I'm gonna go 24 inch and that shows on the side what I need for rebar already and that's horizontal for vertical let's say I have number four bar space at 24 inch on center and my height of wall here is 10 foot and my dowel spacing because I'm having main floor second floor I'll need some dowels so let's say the spacing is also 24 inches and my dowel length I'm gonna say is 40 inch and that's gonna now show me the rebar that I require and the total rebar is on the side here so that's for the whole job if I go to concrete calculator this is a kind of a nice page um, I, again I can go metric or imperial uh, for footings let's just say I have a 24 inch wide footing that is 8 inches deep it'll probably be different in your area depending on your code the length again is 234 
and that shows I need 11 and a half yards just over that. For walls, I had six inch walls. They're 10 foot high and the length is 234 and that's 43 yards. Now my total now is 55 yards of concrete I need and it shows the weight of the concrete I'm putting into this job and that's important. I like that because I do a lot of lintels where I will put in my size of lintel here. It'll show me the weight and now I can shore that lintel up properly. So that's why we do that. You may need that. You can also do slabs and piles. We also have a 1440 tilt calculator if you do tilt walls and need an insulation involved with that. We have that availability. So that is our estimator. Now the next step is saving it. So I saved this as, and if you look here, I have it saved under quotes. I, I made a folder called quotes. And I have all of these .fox files because it saves as a .fox file. And you can recall it at any time and open it back up. Uh, so that's what I do. Uh, another thing I do, which is kind of neat, is I print this off. And you have choices now. I can print the main floor. I can print the second floor. I can print the project summaries. Select all or select none. I can print the rebar calc page if I put numbers into it and the concrete calc page. And then I click OK and watch this. I go move to the side here. I go to my Adobe printer. Now you can download a free Adobe printer online pretty easily. And uh, that's what I choose, and I print it as a PDF file, and that way I can email this quote out to people. I'm not saying I do quotes for everybody, but there are times when I need to help out a little bit, and uh, I have that availability. So that's just a, a neat hint to do that. So that is the Foxblox Estimator Pro version 3. Lots more stuff to come from Foxblox. It's only 2012. We just started. And uh, this is how far we've come so far. You just wait to see what we've got up our sleeves coming next. So hope you enjoy.